Austin could stretch it on fuel, and then, I mean, what's it mean, do you think, for Austin to get his first win? I'm not surprised about anything. Congratulations. His reports back to the crew what all he needs. Jamie Little, what's up? Everything's great. Looking forward to a fantastic weekend here in Phoenix. Back to the racetrack. What did Logano do? Everything's great. Looking forward to getting back to the racetrack and getting into my race car. Are you okay with Joey moving forward? Everything's great. Really looking forward to getting into my race car and getting back here at Phoenix. Everything's great. Really looking forward to getting back into my car and uh, being here in Phoenix. Is that Joey called you this week? Is that a positive? Everything's great. Looking forward to getting back into my car. Good luck. Thank you. It's probably not his fault, you know, his, his wife wears a fire suit and the family tells him what to do, so it's probably not his fault. Yeah, I'm sure we'll talk to each other. Um, it's just tough to have this, this scenario happen out on the track, but inevitably it was going to happen, so we'll see what he has to say about it, and we'll see what, uh, see what we can do to discuss it. But uh, right now, um, I'm not, not eating any cut logs anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Kurt. <laughs> see you next week at the 600. Well, thanks, I just had a week to run. Just made that shit up. It'll drop next week. We lost two pits trying to sink down the front stretch, so let's not do that the rest of the day. All right, I'll just be an ass then. Whatever, I'm trying to keep it lighthearted in here. Just keep moving forward, you back any way you want. <laughs> I mean, did I at least get like a foot tap or a head nod from any of y'all? Dale liked it. Dale enjoyed it. That's right. The longest through those last couple laps, because clearly it was, a, it was a little chaotic. It was crazy, I mean, the last lap, the six car was getting into me a lot. And I didn't want to wreck him, it just, I, I had to stay on the track and he didn't give me any room, it just, you know, we both collide, I, that's the only thing I feel bad about, I'm just, I'm more upset with Greg Biffle, he's the most unprofessional little scaredy cat I've ever seen in my life, he wouldn't even fight me like a man after, so if someone texts me his address, I'll go see him Wednesday at his house and show him, show him what he really needs, he needs a, he needs a friggin' whooping, and I'm going to give it to him, he was flipping me off, giving the finger, totally unprofessional, two laps down, I mean, he's a chump. We saw what happened in, well, walk us through exactly what happened in the garage. We kind of walked in the middle. I went over there to go talk to him. He wouldn't even let me get out of the car, and he comes over and throws a few little baby punches, and then when I get out, he runs away and hides behind some big guys, but he, he won't hide from me long. I'll, I'll find him. I won't settle it out in the track. It's not right to wreck cars, but we'll show up at a race with a black eye one of these days. I'll see him somewhere. White flagger. If we can get him, great. If not, still a hell of a night. Keep it clean. Sorry, guys. Keep going! Keep going! And Scott! Keep going! Keep going! Keep going. Randall boys, everyone. Great car, great stuff. Proud of all y'all. Go! It's the last lap, dog! Go! Go! Uh, I, uh, I, I got close off of turn four. It looks like we got together, and, and it looks like collateral damage he, he blew a tire but I mean he would probably say ah, yeah short track racing you gonna try and find him at this no I don't need to find him coming through turn number four another first time winner in the nationwide series at Kentucky it's Ryan Blaney Got one more lap to finish I'm it sorry, up buddy I'm, I'm sorry. white flag no. white flag Maybe not the end of the night you wanted what happened with the initial contact with the wall Kyle uh, just rubber on top of rubber, the rubber buildup that was happening. I just got in the corner a little too hot and just got up into the fence a little bit. And then, uh, I don't know, two, three laps later, it blew out. And for these guys, it was actually a broken A-arm that had them in the evening from there. Uh, my pit crew did absolutely nothing to help me out tonight. My truck drove a and these splitters are absolutely horrendous. You can't pass in traffic. You can't race alongside anybody. You can't get within five truck lengths of no one. But somehow, someway, I was able to get back to the front. Had a blast. And I was coming 10 miles an hour faster than, than anybody. And uh, uh, the 48 has tested my patience, I can tell you that. I, it takes a lot to make me mad, and, and I'm pissed right now. I mean, you know, when a car's going that much faster, I don't know what is with me and him right now, but, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, the guys did a great job fixing it, you know, after uh, they, they got wrecked. I don't know what happened in the wreck. I just know the 31 came across after getting turned and came down in front of me and we got collected. So we just did everything we could to finish at that point and finish on the lead lap. And, and the fact that this is the third straight race, there's been no wreck. I mean, does that amaze you? Have you ever seen anything like that? 
David, only you'd think about stuff like that. I don't, I don't know about what you think of during the race, but I try to figure out how to win the race and make my car go fast. I don't sit there and think of that petty crap that you think of. And hello again, everybody. Marty Reed alongside winning Brickyard driver Dale Jarrett, winning Brickyard crew chief. I know who you are, and I think it's great to see you. It's great to be back with you guys again. We've had so much fun all weekend long. So I wanted to find Kyle Larson, and I figured I would find Ricky Sinhouse Jr. and Denny Hamlin as well. And, of course, I did. So we were seeing Cash Boyer playing with toys. Let's see what the adult kids play with because these guys have found uh, a little rain delay to be the time to play video games. I'm shocked this is what you're doing, Larson. Why? Is that an Asian joke? No, oh, no, I'm saying you always are playing video games, racing games or golf games. This case, a golf game. Yeah, we're uh, we're in here playing a little uh, PGA. <laughs> um, I, can't believe you said that. I know I'll probably get in trouble for that, but I'm Asian, so I could say it. But um, yeah, we're we're in here playing a little golf. We can't play outside in the rain right now, but. Why don't you go tell the 48? Fucking drive your shit, you little bitch. Yeah, put me off again, motherfucker. I'll dump your shit. 